Oh, lost power. All right, guys, got the Arma Vortex 3S back out. Of course, I'm running this baby on 4S. Uh, big shout out again to M2C Racing, uh, the, the M2C bash bar for the 4S has been a huge success. So now they have integrated this design into the 3S model. Uh, this is for the short chassis. They also make it for the longer chassis like the Big Rock and the Sentin. Uh, this one will fit the uh, Vortex and Granite. Uh, this, again, this design has proven itself in extreme bashing, uh, huge ramp launches and stuff like that. And this thing has held the chassis together. So it should do even a better job in these 3S trucks being even smaller and lighter. Just to recap on the electronics in this thing, I am running a Hobby Star uh, 2280 KV uh, with an 18-tooth pinion, I believe, with a steel spur gear. M2C motor mount support block uh, slide right there. Uh, just a BLX 185 6S ESC. Also on 4S, I do have a piece of foam in here to help cushion that battery and cushion any kind of sliding back and forth so I don't blow up the battery on these on this front post up here. All right, guys, got the sitting here also that also runs on 4S power. Uh, this is the M2C bash bar for the longer chassis that fits the Big Rock Sentin and the Typhon 3S. So you got all the platforms covered. And also you got the shorter one for the Vortex and then the Granite. Already available for the Creighton 4S and Outcast 4S V2s if you guys want to check those out. I mean, complete game changer for these rigs, guys, with these plastic chassis. I mean, you can send these things as hard as you want to and come back in one piece. All right, guys, only way to get a true test on that chassis brace and chassis is to uh, send it off of this ramp right here, full speed. Wow, it's up there. She landed, still driving. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Almost lost it in the sun. Yep. Chassis still together. Oh. <laughs> she is slapping hard out here. On this uneven ground too in this field and this rock card we haven't had rain in like a month. Chassis still holding. That would have broke a stock chassis in a heartbeat. like I lost power there for a second off the launch. <laughs> oh, lost power. Uh-oh. Dang, it landed flat. <laughs> and talk about luck. Uh, again, I just love these speed truggies, the Italian and the Vortex. So perfectly balanced. Chassis still in one piece. Oh. oh. <laughs> Parachuted right before the ramp. I had to let off real quick. Oh. A little on the back end.
Oh, oh God. man, that was rough. All right, guys, I switched to my little plastic ramps right here just for something a little bit different. I have a lot of guys ask me about these almost in every video that I use them. I just want to kind of clarify these are from discountramps.com. They no longer make these. I bought these probably four or five years ago and just been lucky enough to get a set before they discontinued them. I did stack these. They are mounted on top of each other. So you got four ramps uh, all together to give you that extra height and stuff. I do a really good send, not quite the vertical as my uh, homemade wood ramp. That's a three foot quarter pipe, but you can definitely get some nice jumps with these and they're a lot lighter and they're more mobile to carry around. And this give you a quick shot of how these are mounted together. They are on top right there, uh, secured with some little two by four pieces all the way around just to uh, kind of help screw down the ramp that's on top of it. It's a really cool design and it works uh, really good. I've had these ramps for a long time. Uh, I just hate they don't make them anymore because I really need to get another set. These are starting to get kind of chopped up. I've had to make a few repairs on them, but they'll still send a car. <laughs> That's what you call a ramp shaver. Yes, sir, or, or a complete ramp misser. Oh. That's always fun to do, guys. Speed run down to the ramp. Gotta have a direct line or else you'll miss it, though. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for now. The, uh, both the Sentinel and the Vortex both have intact chassis. After all that beat down, uh, guys, that kind of jumps and stuff uh, would have definitely broken a stock chassis. I've done it many times. I do have a crack up here on the Vortex. It's very front, but there was already a crack in this old chassis to start with. It got a little bit worse, but it didn't affect anything else down through here. Kept everything together. Again, this thing took some major errors, you know, so what do you expect? At least I get to take her home in one piece. All right, guys, it was a lot of fun. We'll get out again soon until next time. RCG Day 1. Peace out.